must have slept about seven straight days. I should water the flowers. Oh, a doobity doo, gonna water my flowers, and I can't wait to water my flowers. Welcome to the show. Let's do Now, do you have a teddy bear friend that's just eating your favorite flowers? Well, what you need is something cute and fun that's going to replace them while someone replants the seeds. What you need is a friendly face flower. And I'm gonna show you how to make one. Now, first of all, surprise, surprise, you're gonna need a picture of a face, roughly the size of an A4 page. Now, you can either draw one, or if you have access to a phone and a printer at home, you can take a selfie and print it out yourself. For best results, make sure you print it out in black and white and onto a sheet of coloured card. Just make sure the photo is nice and bright and that it fills up most of the page. <laughs> now what we're going to do is glue the whole sheet to a sheet of cardboard the same size. Then we use a cereal bowl to trace a circle around the main part of the face, cut that out and leave it to one side. Then we're going to get three pages of white A4 card and we're going to use acrylic paint to make a nice washy strip of pastel pink right down the middle of the page, about four centimetres in width. Now, to get a nice pastel pink colour, you just need to squeeze out some white paint and mix it in with a little bit of red. Now while we put those to one side to dry, we're going to make a template for the petals. Just grab a piece of cardboard and pencil in your petal shape roughly to these dimensions. Once you've done that, we cut it out. We then use that to stencil four petals in a row onto each of the pages we've just painted, making sure you draw around a section of the page which has a nice pink to white gradient. And make sure they're dry first though. <laughs> Once you do that, you cut them all out, and hopefully you'll have 12 petals that look like this. Yay! We then stack all the petals on top of each other and fold them nice and tightly down the middle. Now we bring back our face, and we start gluing down the petals one by one around the edge of the back. Now make sure when you're gluing them down, you just add glue from the bottom of the square part of the petal up to the point where it changes shape. Then after you do that 12 times around the whole thing, making sure the sides of the petals are all lined up, you should have something that looks like this. Now all you need to do is tape the back of it to the top of a bamboo stick and pop it right back in to a freshly soiled plant pot. And if you don't fancy painting your own petals or even folding them, you could just cut them out from coloured card and glue them down completely flat. That way, you could make your friendly flower face into a rainbow. And how about, instead of taking a selfie, you could use a picture of your best friend. Or even a pet. Oh, so cute. Give it a go. A friendly flower face. Teddy bear friend, I'm not sure what to draw. I've been staring at this page for the last 20 minutes and nothing is coming out. I just had my third hot chocolate of the day, so I am very awake. Teddy bear friend, what should I do? Just scribble. Scribble? Uh huh. Like this? That's, That's right. right. Scribble or something appears. Like what? Anything. Like a line? Like a bunch of lines. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. 
four. Scribble, libble, 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 leave long. Do a big scribble all day long. If you want to make those scribbles wide, make your hands move from side to side. Shimmy to the scribble in a scrimmony wee. Do a big circle over a tree. If you want to stop because you're in pain, pick another color and do it again. Woo! Do it. One, two, three, four. Second and a second all over the page. You could do this at any age. Definitely no skills required. You could even do it if you're really tired. Yeah. Scribble yeah. on the train, yeah. scribble yeah. on a flight. Yeah. Scribble yeah. in the morning yeah. to the middle of the night. Yeah. Scribble on a horse, yeah. scribble on a bike. Yeah. It's up to you, so do what you like. <laughs> Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah. Getting this scribble stuff real tight. Real jiggy to the wobble. <laughs> You know what, Teddy Bear friend? I think we're going to be all right. Now it's time to take a look at some of your work on the Fridge Gallery, and today's theme is you! Well, shall we see what our little artlings have brought us today? <gasps> now Cecily, aged five and a quarter, has sent us in a very energetic self-portrait full of character using colouring pencils and a black chalk pastel to shade in parts of the face. I love her attention to detail, right down to the leaf earrings. Well done, Cecily. Well done. Now River, age two, has given us a very funky image using a variety of cutout pieces of paper to make a collage of his face. He's used recycled brown paper for the skin, black crepe paper for the hair, and red tissue paper for the lips. Great job, River. I like it. Finnegan, aged five, has sent us in a super duper fabulous fun time portrait using a variety of coloured marker pens, enjoying the summer sun in all its wild glory. Thanks Finnegan. What do you think Teddy Bear friend? <laughs> Finn, aged ten, has given us an excellent piece of fan art of his favourite anime cartoon, Naruto, using a light pencil to sketch the portrait in first and a black pen to outline it afterwards. Super coolness Finn. Dante my here we have a very silly full body self portrait indeed, by our very own teddy bear friend, using coloured marker pens to really make her character pop. <laughs> silly teddy bear friend. Do you still like a teddy bear friend? Sure. And lastly, we have another self portrait drawn by me when I was six years old. Ah, <sighs> 30 years ago. For this little sketch, I used a HB pencil and copied from a photograph of myself. Oh, not too bad, eh? Well, everyone, that's the end of the episode. Thanks to everyone who sent in their work and to everyone else watching, Go on, give it a go. Let's do an art. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Oh, I got a bowl of nuts. Mm. Mm. Mm, I <laughs> yeah, put it in the oven for about 10 minutes. We sprinkle it with salt and honey. Mm -hmm. That one again. Cashew, cashew. Mm -hmm. mm. All the pecans are making up. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Could eat nuts all day. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>